Hi guys, it's Rachel here. Now, this is my Christmas gift idea number 12. I'm not actually going to make anything this week. I've run out of time. Um, however, this was always something I was going to include in my Christmas gift. It's Christmas themed. Um, and um, it's something that I prepared um, a couple of Christmases ago. And I hope I've got everything because some of it I already gave away um like for christmas a couple of christmases ago as i said so um but what i had done um and it was a labor of love i absolutely loved doing it but it took me forever was i made an ebook and so this now don't look at the printing of the ebook because i printed it draft with my old printer and so the colors are not right but this is the front cover of the ebook and literally in the ebook, there's going to be um, patterns and how to's for everything that you can see, and you probably can't even see everything. So I'm going to go through and uh, show you what I did and what you'll learn to make in the ebook. And I'm also going to give you a um, in the description box. I'll put the link to the ebook, and I will um, I will uh, give you a code for a very big discount because the book is 72 pages so I couldn't you know charge nothing for it com compared to my other patterns but I'm going to give you a very nice discount so it will be really worth the purchase to you and I will say pretty much nearly all of the patterns are super easy so um, I think they are very much beginner friendly patterns a lot of them um, probably the most complex thing is the table runner um, but only because um, it's backed but the rest of it is mostly stitching felt or raw edges with fabric no lining or anything like that I mean felt is one of the best things to do use when you're learning to sew and embroider it's very very um, beginner friendly so first of all let me just show you a bit how um, the book works it's a bit hard because I've got you on my tripod so you can see everything um, so I'm going to stand up, but what I'll do is I'll just put it down. So there's the front page, of course. Um, I have it's just like a real book, really. It took me forever. Um, so basically, there's like contents here. I don't know if you can see the contents. Um, there's all different images of the book. It's you'll get a PDF file, of course. Um, there's all of the fa uh, fabrics and materials that you need, and I tried to do lovely photographs, as you would see. Um, in a book and then I've got techniques so there'll be different um, techniques and images and explanations of the techniques so just like it was a real book all of the pages are should be numbered um, and then um, and then you go into the how-to and all of my I think I'm pretty sure I, I mean I wrote it a long time ago but all of my how-to's have photographs and I find, I'm a visual person, and as I know lots of you that are on YouTube are visual people. So having a photograph when you buy a pattern is really, I mean, look, how, how yummy is that? So um, having a photograph is really, 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 really helpful when you're, especially if you're a beginner. So um, now the table runner. The table runner is probably the most um, busy one but I've written very detailed very very detailed um, um, what do you call them instructions so we'll go through I probably should flip through my pattern the Christmas wreath that you can see um, there's lots of photographs there's for each thing that I'm describing I've done individual photographs of the actual reef so you know what I'm talking about um, so it should be very very clear Oh, I haven't looked at this for a while. I also show um, the making the Christmas cards, tags, and also the Christmas bag. So let's go through. I think I've got examples of everything. I may not. I may not have examples of everything. But um, what I'll do is I'll sit down because I probably fall over, and um, and we'll start. So what will I start with? Let's start with. Um, oh, these are one of my favourite things. So these are cones and. They, um, I mean, they can be decorations on your mantle. I think they're really nice gifts. Um, I've I've actually made lots of these sorts of things for gifts for people. There's a bit of lavender on there. Don't know how that got on there, but I there. I mean, these are all made of felt, 
and then I've stitched on some little glass seed beads as well to give it a bit of sparkle um, and if you can't get this sort of felt cord because I know that it's a bit of an Italian thing I think it's really yummy um, if you're desperate and you want it I could get it for you um, otherwise um, possibly I don't I haven't actually looked at it for a while I don't know if it's still available but otherwise you could just cut a thin strip of you could use a ribbon or you could substitute it with um, some strips of felt so I'll just show you those quickly um, and I did quite a, a few variations of the pattern um, and they are really fun and I did some different less Christmassy colors in case someone wants to do um, Christmas and I promise you the hardest um, stitch here is uh, the French knot um, or the colonial knot you could do if you don't want to do knots you could just do a few little satin stitches on top of each other and, and just build up a bit of um, sort of height bulkiness if you know what I mean otherwise it's all just little whip stitching around things and star like you know creating stars and stuff like that did I show you that one and then there's this one so I've had some of these for a really long time so they're sort of going a bit wonky but um, you will get photographic instructions as to how to make those and now let's go on to um, the the um, decorations on the tree these are again all made with felt and one you can pad them as well if you want to before you stitch them shut but they are super cute I can't remember let me find those if you can bear with me for a second um, and wouldn't they be nice on a tree but also to tie on a gift and um, and so I just I want to go what page oh I can use my contents page here we go um, fun round decorations I called them page 65 to 68 so I can just go there oh here we go I didn't even show you I've got the templates for everything as well so 65 to 68 let's get there where are they I probably got all my pages all mixed up um, I'm getting there sorry guys just bear with me for a second here we go here they are oh they're the templates so I looked at the wrong one I've got to look at the other one see I've, see, I've got um, in my contents I've got I've got contents for temp templates placement and embroidery and then I've got um, templates for the project so that will be for the sorry they're 14 to 18 um that's the description as you know the explanation as to how oh i wrote on it oh well i went i didn't what did i write on there crazy um so that's the the front page and then um here are all of the sort of um explanations i just what i'm looking for is i wanted to see um Oh, these are all the, see, these are all the different ones. So you get the pudding, the doggy, the penguin, um, there's the bird, Santa, reindeer. So there's there's a lot of different patterns. I've only got about, I've got four left. So let me show you those. I, th I can't remember exactly how many patterns there were, but there are a lot of those. Um, it's just that I've sold them. So that's the, the mousy. That one might not be in there. I'm not sure. Might be. Um, that's the dog. I've got a penguin. No, this is an owl. I think the owl one is in there. I think so. There's the owl. And then um, here is the pudding. So that's those. I'll just put those aside. This is going to take me a while, isn't it? So then the next thing, um, so we've done the trees. Um, I also show how to make these really cool. Um, I'll just pull that down a little bit. Um, these really cool Christmas garlands with felt. Mm -hmm. And then I've also got one uh, with rectangle pieces or really great way to use up your felt doesn't have to be wool felt it can be any type of felt but it's really fun and um, and this is really cool to use as as gift wrapped as well um, I also show how to make these hearts several variations of these hearts and you could fill those with you know Christmas spicy sort of smells or lavender they are re they're really all seasonal sort of hearts so they I show you how to make those um, now let's get why don't we do the wreath the wreath is one of my favorite things i would lots of people when i was doing a market when i had just done this they wanted to buy it and i wouldn't sell it because i love it so much so basically i show every single step how to make this wreath you need a foam um wreath va base um a styrofoam and i wrapped it with linen and twine you know trim and stuff and then you do all of your little elements and then you assemble it but um this is like one of my favorite things, little padded bird, um, 
the tree in the middle. I mean, even some of these elements would be lovely um, if you had them singularly and you put them on gift wrapping. How good. Oh, that's a good idea, isn't it? That just came to me. Oh, I could do some of those and put them on my presents. Oh, what a great idea. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some because these are really fun things to make. Really easy. Really, really easy. I've got some beads. You don't have to have beads. You could do little knots if you want to, but I like the beads. Um, just sort of, I used bronze and glassy coloured and pearly coloured and, and different types of reds as well. So that was one of my favourite projects in the book. Um, and then, oops, I've got a, I've got a board here. So, um, so yeah, just to, so you could see everything. I made, I'll show how I made all of these um, tags, but I also showed how I made Christmas cards as well. These are the only ones I've got left at the moment. So you'll see how to make all of those really easy peasy. And then um, I love these. The, I, I gave, a, um, I used a lot of these for the Christmas gifts that year. These are all little um, pouches. So this one's made with paper and fabric and trim. So I show you how to make all of these. This one, and then I had this one. These were super fun to make. Really, really fun. This one, as well, with straw paper. But I also did a lot of these. Um, these Hessian ones as well and I printed on fabric so there's lots of those in there and then I love this one this one too in fact I, I haven't given any of these away because I really like them I think I made extras so that I explain how to make all of those and then um, I'll better show you this now you're going to see the the white board behind this is the table runner now this is the thing that's probably the most complex it's a little bit hard to show you this one because it's it is a table runner, so it's meant to go down the center of the table, but I'll show you in bits. And to do this, I was greatly inspired by my mum because my mum started making um, this beautiful um, linen table runner. And um, I did mine a little bit differently, but I was inspired by mum. So the part that was especially inspired by mum is this. I absolutely love it. Really, the, I mean, all of the embroidery, as I said, is super easy to do. Um, so we've got a row, row with birds, holly, um, the centre has Noel, I don't know, oh wait, you can't see it, Noel, okay, there, and then the other end, I'll just flip it around so you can see, the other end has um, Christmas trees, can you see, oh you can't see those, okay, we'll do the Christmas trees after, this is the other end here, I absolutely love it, um, and the, one of the most fun bits was doing all the the border there um the the branches with the berries and then i'll try and get the christmas trees down christmas trees as well okay so that's the table runner and the table runner is lined so it's there and um and then i made pom-poms and they they were stitched onto the corners so that's my table runner i absolutely love that you could change your colors now i did use um, a mix of wool felt and then um hand dyed felted wools is what I use but you could absolutely use felt you don't have to use those I just liked with the felted wools that you could get um, you know checks on them and houndstooth and different sort of textures because they're all different um, and then the one last thing I need to show you here is um, in maybe I'll move let me just move so I hope it don't make you sick just move the camera here and tip it down a bit right Hopefully you can see. Now, don't just ignore the bodgy printing. So this is to give you, and I'll just flip through it like this so you can see. There's all of the patterns with the with the um, instructions and photographs. So really, I mean, it's I think it's fairly simple to um, follow. And that's the runner. It shows exactly how to do it. Then that's that's the um, wreath. I think it's I've got it. In, I've, I've got it in bit mixed up um, and so we've got the wreath just want to make sure that all the bags there's photographs shows you how to do it Christmas cards tags um, and then how to make the garlands wrapping wrapping ideas I think I put a few wrapping ideas and then you've got all your templates templates and then I've also given you um, besides the templates placement like where to place everything more or less and then also um, embroidery as well so where you see all the little dots and extra bits that's the embroidery and I will of course tell you um, 
it also tells you exactly. Um, so here we go. Let's look at the round tree decorations, what we've got. We've got the doggy, the penguin, doggy, penguin, Santa, um, pudding, rain, uh, reindeer and bird. So I didn't have some of the ones that I had there I don't have in here. And you've got all of your templates that you just cut out and use for your pieces. And I and I do say whether you should reverse them or not. If you're using felt, you don't need to reverse the template. If you're using fabric, you do need to reverse the template. But I don't think for any of these I used fabric applique, so you don't need to. You don't have to reverse. You just put it on your thing and trace it and cut it out. The hearts, so templates and embroidery, Noel. So it's, yeah. It's very, very detailed, very detailed. And oh, and I gave a few um, little places um, where I buy my supplies, like where I buy bought a lot of my hand-dyed felted wool, um, antique markets, so maybe thrift stores, craft stores, Etsy for a lot of trims and things. Um, yeah, so I gave a few of those things and then lots more photographs as well. So that is my gift idea uh, number 12. I'm sorry if um, anyone's disappointed that I didn't do a tutorial this week. I, my, my days just slipped away and, um, and I didn't get them done. I just, I try, I just, oh, yesterday I was going to do it and I didn't. But um, do you know what? As a bonus, besides your discount, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to do an extra one next week. So hopefully that's the plan anyway. I'm going to do a number 13. Ha <laughs> isn't that weird? Okay, so I hope everyone's having a great day. And I hope you enjoy these project ideas. And um, I'm, like a lot of them are, are laborious. So um, you do need a pattern for them. Not, like, not laborious in the bad sense of the way, but just there's more work in them. So it's not really a tutorial sort of thing. It would take um, way too long. So... Um, they're all in a pattern, all in one, and with you'll see with the discount code, it's something like 12, 12 ideas, or I can't remember how many I did. Let me see if I wrote it here. No, I wasn't that clever, was I? Um, let me see if I wrote it. I wrote just like an introduction, which is very hard for me to do that. I'm not, I'm not a writing person. It's not my thing. Um, let me see the projects. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sort of, sort of nine ideas. I think I put in there. So, um, yeah, you'll see it's a good price when you look at what um, patterns cost for one pattern. Even not just in my shop, in other people's shops, um, you're getting a whole lot of patterns there. I mean, obviously some are more simple than others, but um, I think you might find a lot of inspiration there. So, thank you for watching, and I will be back again soon. Bye.